Hello again, and so to the fifth and final part of our five part series on the future of manufacturing as we see it. As I mentioned in part one, we are moving towards what I see as a mass customization market for manufacturing rather than a mass production market. We need to be able to serve what is essentially a market of one with commercially viable manufacturing solutions. In serving this market of one, we need to be able to supply mass production quality. Anything less is unacceptable. Agile manufacturing combined with lean customization is, we believe, a key component of this new emerging mass customization manufacturing paradigm. How do we implement to the greatest and most telling effect? A key question. Similarly, how can we deliver on the mass customization expectations in a controlled and commercially viable way? Well, we need to leverage all available benefits of smart, additive and agile manufacturing, along with lean customization, while in parallel using innovative processes and materials as appropriate to deliver high-end product. In the reimagining of manufacturing, central to this and the very first one is considering the benefits of making local, which is a move away from the globalization we've been talking about for many years now. So we move towards cutting logistics costs with shorter lead and cycle times and parts made to order. Secondly, moving towards a craftsman type manufacturing solution, back towards craftsman type, you might say, but in a cost effective way. It, the product has to be commercially viable, obviously. Thirdly is applying design thinking concepts directly to manufacturing. As you'll have seen from some of the videos I've shown you on improvements we did in January alone, we are applying these concepts every day. Fourthly, efficient, agile manufacturing, taking concept through to manufacturing while targeting this market of one. Fifth, then, is low volume, short series production with, with mass production quality. As mentioned, that is a non-negotiable mass production quality. And sixth, and most important, in my opinion, is putting people back at the center of manufacturing. For many years, we thought automation was the most important route to go. Globalization meant that China became the factory of the world. But those things haven't served us terribly well and won't serve us terribly well, I believe, going forward. People have to be back at the centre of manufacturing. In our values, what we've defined as the values of our company, right at the top of the list is our people are the most important part of our business. And that is there because everything we do is personal. We want to leverage the creativity and intelligence of people, engage all our people in manufacturing. You know, as I mentioned earlier, we're a servant organization existing to serve our customers, manufacturing and our design needs, aiming to achieve the highest levels of quality, speed of response and clarity of communication in the service of those customers. But people are the center of everything we do because it's personal. So that brings us to the end of this series on our take on the future of manufacturing. If you'd like to follow up with us on anything you've seen or heard here, uh, over the last couple of days, then please do, by all means. And better still, if you would like to engage with us to manufacture or talk about manufacturing your product, we'd be delighted to hear from you. Thank you and talk to you soon. <laughs>